All right, everybody, welcome back to the Road to Supersonic Legend series. We're on to episode number 33, and today we are Scrub Thrilla with one of the most haunting photos of the ser series so far. Um, and if you didn't see the last episode two days ago, it was definitely the most cursed photo so far. I did put a community post out a couple days ago about this, and unfortunately, these photos are seeing the light of day, but uh, I hope to never see them ever again. But today we are Champ 3, Division 1, and in the last episode, we did finally, spoiler alert, make it into the final uh, rank of Champion. And hopefully within the next couple episodes, we'll make it into Grand Champion and start to close out this series. It's been a great series so far. We remain undefeated. I believe the series is a, a win streak of 107 or something like that. I haven't really kept complete tabs ever since the 100 win streak uh, video, but we'll jump into the next games and see how they go. Uh, if you are new to the series or if you're enjoying the daily videos and unique content on the channel and you want to help the road to 1 million subscribers, subscribing helps out a ton. But without further ado, let's jump into the next games and see how it goes. All right, we've got Aquadome. We've actually got a, uh, a Amsterdam and Big City Slams are together. And the guy's 1294, but he was last season, he was season one grand champion. So interesting, interesting. I don't know if that's like a bit of a, a carry or what. Let's see if my teammate goes back. Pretty uh, risky of him to push up off that, that corner boost, but should work out. Stay with us in the corner. The other guy's really far, I can see that. So now I'm going to wait for him to come closer and challenge. Could have probably flicked it a little bit earlier. My teammate should be back. Good job. He's got 100 boost now, so I know that. I'm going to keep that in mind. Good. Should have turned on this. If I could use a little bit of boost to go back to this one, should be all right if we get a 50 50. This boost should be back now by the time I go back to the corner. Just good timing there. I see so far the opponents aren't really respecting positioning, so I'm just going to go for early early hits and get the get the ball cleared, basically, because they're uh, they're just challenging immediately. Got to watch out for the demos behind me here. See if he stays with it. That's fine. There we go. Try to go for the last touch. Teammate decided to aerial pretty early. Didn't really have to, but it'll work out. Let's see if he goes up for this. Amsterdam's in an awkward spot. Good. Not a great ball for me since the ball's so close to the wall. So I'm just waiting waiting here for the next touch. Don't know if my teammate's going to go up for that, so I was a little bit worried. But now it's a free shot. Great placement. Nice one. So right there, I could have went again. Um, and once again, this is great. This is only champion three, so I don't want to go for too many crazy things. I'm playing pretty slow just to even it out. But there, I probably could have shot that. I've set it up pretty well, and I could definitely make an angle. Um, it's definitely better if your teammate comes in, but you just don't. You got to be a little bit worried that he might not go, or that he might double commit with you if you go. So things to keep in mind when you go for certain things. Right here, the one guy backed off, so I'm just gonna make a pop really high off the backboard. You see that um, in that situation, a shot towards target. Could have uh, could have worked, but he's definitely gonna save that with the reaction time. So it's better to me for me to get that immediate flick. And you can see Amsterdam then waste his positioning and boost by jumping up, and we get so much better pressure just from that one touch. So many options you could go for. You go for a flick there, a dribble. Um, my teammate's not going for the uh, the cheat. So I've talked about this in the last couple episodes. If my teammate's not gonna cheat up, I do need to change up my kickoff because I'm usually pretty good at. Uh, I shouldn't have went for that by the way. Um, I'm usually pretty good at killing the ball, like really really good at it. It's one thing I've really focused on. Because I know that cheating up is definitely the better option. It's a good clear, but I can't really move up on it because the opponent's going to be there. So I wait for him to catch it instead and then make a challenge. But I'm really good at... Uh, that's one thing I'll pride myself on is I'm really good at killing the kickoff. Um, even nowadays when people do fast kickoffs, I know how to like cancel that or counter it. So what I do instead... Okay, my teammate's going for the default to net. Let's see if that works out. So he, he put it to the left side. That's fine. Good demo as well. Good save. Could have shot that easily, um, but we're up two goals. I just want to chill. Uh, but as I was saying, like, I, I know how to kill it, so... Oh, that's awkward. I know how to kill it, so I'd rather my teammate just, you know, push up slightly, like I do. Get a double 50-50 here. Should be my uh, my teammate's ball. And we did get the, the boost steal in the back corner. Let's pop it over the one player. I think my teammate stole that corner boost. It's a bit of an aggressive challenge since I just demoed, got demoed, but it was good for him to pass it back. Is he going to turn? No, I don't really want to overcommit and go with him there because he might push up and then we'll be stuck on the same side. That works out. I'm going to avoid the demo if I can. Oh. <laughs> so make sure to hit that off the, the sidewall. I want. I meant to hit that a little bit harder off the curve so it wouldn't be as uh, as close to the opponent that was hiding on the wall. The one player uh, committed pretty early and then made a flip. He kind of passed it to me and we'll just make a shot towards target. Good save. Oh, teammate left that mid boost. Fine if he clears it. Wait for the touch here. 
Up the middle. That was not the best touch. Good save, though. See if they come and challenge. Maybe I'll pop to the right because he's trying to challenge midfield. I can get bin boost here as well. I never, I never really warm up before these uh, these games, but uh, we're getting we're getting higher up in the the series that people are starting to get a lot better and a lot faster. But they're still very manageable. This guy pushed up on the flip, so I'm just gonna pop it up once, and it should be in. He really should respect the fact that this possession is ours, especially when he uh, makes a pass to me here. That pop is close enough that I can follow it. And uh, pushing up just in a straight line just basically gives me a clear idea that he's committing to this, so I just need to pop it over him. If you made it a little less obvious, I might have held onto the ball a little more, but your body language says a lot and how you challenge. And that's a lot of uh, how you play the game is trying to read the body language of the opponents and also changing your body language to confuse them. You want to make it as clear as possible for your teammates to know what you're doing, but as 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 uh, not clear or unclear as possible for the opponents to know what you're doing. So that's a hard that's a hard thing, and that's like a biggest thing to learn is to know how to help your teammates understand what's happening without you know giving away your your hand. So even there, when I was making that pass in the front, I was trying to uh, make it unclear that I was making a pass. But my teammate has pretty good language to understand that I'm going around the ball to give that pass in. So he's waiting in midfield. And uh, this is a pretty clear win here. The guys ended up leaving. I don't think we like did anything too crazy. Just made a few shots towards target. And honestly, my teammate did a lot better than me, points-wise. So, well played to him. And uh, we'll move on to the next game. So we got MC. We actually have the same teammate again. We got MCC Mitchell again. So, well played to him. He was, he was really good last game. Let's get into this one and see how it goes. Really consistent. As I say that, he left the net open. <laughs> but uh, he he's also known for going for those back corners. And I, I, I totally forgot about that since the last episode. So I ended up losing it to back corner over him. If he went for the cheat, it would have been better. But right here, I see that he's going back. So I'm going to grab it. Uh, oh, I missed the corner boost too. So a little bit little bit rough on the edges here. That's okay though. Let's be able to follow it. Maybe make a pop. Good try. So now I'm in a 1v2. Ended up throwing it away though. So now I can make a shot towards target or at least make a challenge. Teammate's going up for it. Ends up backing off. Okay, my teammate wants to turn. Oh, what is happening? That was really confusing because he kind of like told me he was going to turn away and then at the last second turned. So be a challenge. And right here I'll boost towards it again to try and get the catch. There we go. Pretty complicated there, but I knew I could catch onto it. Just get an air dribble uh, and follow the ball. Now just showing a little bit of mechanics here and there. I'll do a high touch here. It should roll down. Good try. This should be a shot for me. Good save. Well played by Rose. Get out of here, get a little bit of a recovery. So I see that my teammate's going to hit it to the right because he's flying in from the left. It's a decent hit, hit and since uh, Smelly is waiting on the floor, I'll wait for them to both like commit. That actually worked out pretty well for them, but at the same time, they're they're really over committing. Move behind and grab the back corner boost. Wait for his flick. There it is. Now he's backing off. Make a flick if I can. Bit of a miss. It actually works out. Should be a shot towards target, see if Smelly can make a touch. He does, now Mitchell can make a shot. Nice one. That was a good play. Bit of a bit awkward since the last game. I feel like this is a way worse rotation that we had since the last game, but he made a really good shot here to go for it. And uh, he's pretty consistent. So you can see that in, Gra in, in not Grand Champion, in Champ 3, I'm really struggling with Grand Champion because uh, this the symbol that this rank is used to be Grand Champion, uh, I believe at one point. One point or another, and then the new Grand Champion came around. Which I now think, is, which I believe is red now. It's not even the same color. But uh, you can see in this rank, there's people that are actually like, really consistent with mechanics. That was a bit, uh, <laughs> that was a bit too much. I think. I think I hit a little bit too much sauce there. I knew I had the angle though. I hit it off the curve, uh, so it pops out middle, and I just grab the boost midway. So even if I make a miss and it bounced off that that back wall, I can recover. That was pretty. Uh, that was pretty advanced though. I should probably slow it down. Good touch by Smelly. This ball's on my end, so I knew I could touch it. I kind of hold, held onto it too, but I thought maybe the guy was going to challenge. Pop it off the corner. Teammate shouldn't go, which is smart of him. He's waiting. Now I can let him rotate in. Good try. The guy's still uh, recovering, but because he hits that to the uh, the side in the middle, I can go for it. I'll go for the hit first. The guy's trying to challenge. Good catch from Smelly. Oh my... Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> No! <laughs> oh no, that was definitely savable. It was there. 
He panicked and just went for the touch. He could have went around the ball and looped wide, but he ended up own goaling. And honestly, that's like not on not on any of us. Like, that was a good pinch from my, my teammate. Getting these crazy plays. Good cut off. Good try. Bro's going to turn on this. Right here, I wait for the touch. It wasn't the greatest cha corner challenge. Sometimes those corner challenges don't work out. To get touch, see if he follows it. Oh. Oh, nice one. My teammate's popping off. Great first touch. And then a good follow. Immediately jumps up. And that fake challenge right here makes him give the keep the possession in the air. If he went for the first touch right away, I think the opponent would have made a read. Instead, he uh, fakes it out and changes the pace of the game in the air. And that's really hard to do because... When you're in the air, you can only you can only change your direction whatever way your boost is facing. There we go. Make a good save. You guys trying to bump me here. Hey. Hey. Hey, enough of that. Come here. <laughs> Left, maybe, teammate? Oh, he missed. Okay, good possession. It's a decent touch, but it ends up going back to the opponent. He ended up leaving it, though. Smelly could have stayed on that, I think. Good. Play for the touch. I'll hit it off the sidewall so I stay close. My teammate's kind of in an awkward spot though. I'll pop it up nice and high. And here, it should be my teammate's ball. Makes a decent shot. Pretty dangerous for me to go, so instead, I just let them make the clear. If they held that closer, it would be a better play. Good touch from the from Rose, but kind of freestyle or something. I have no idea what's going on. Wait in mid, he might chip it out. Tries to stay close. He hit it a little bit too hard, so it ends up going to the, uh, the, the opponent, but... He ends up touching it again. This could be an open shot for Rose. A little bit scary here. So not very strong, so I have time. Pop it in the corner. I see him on the wall, so I know he can't really jump out to that ball fast enough. So instead, uh, I just pop it out. My teammate tries to go for a follow-up, but since I'm low boost, I can't really help uh, defend this. Uh, or not continue the pr pressure, basically. At least not without being super risky. There we go. See what Rose does. Might clear it out to mid. He kind of popped it out to my, t my teammate. But instead, he backs off. Let's see what he does with his touch. Good corner touch. Keeps it close. And we got another rage quitter. I'm so sorry, man. I think that's going to be it for that one. I need to slow it down. I think we're causing too many forfeits, which is a clear a clear sign to me that I'm doing too much. Uh, that's, that's not the usual thing that you would see in Champ 3. But I don't think I did too much crazy stuff. Because once again, look... Mitchell's got three goals. I didn't do, like, a crazy amount. Obviously, like, I'm setting him up pretty well in certain situations. But otherwise, like, we're just kind of vibing. I think this definitely, this play in the background right here was definitely too much. I should have just let that happen and, uh, and, and you know, follow through with the rest of the gameplay. But we move into Champ 2, I mean, Champ 3 Division 2, and we'll continue on to the next game. Cool. Well, no mercy. When someone says something like that, I just like I just turn it on, man. I'm just gonna turn it on a bit. Pass it back, nice. Pop it up off the backboard. It's gonna be really awkward for the opponent. And I'll just make a shot here. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. <laughs> I will uh I will not have I will not tolerate stuff like that. It's just not it's not, you know, we're twenty it's twenty twenty one, man. Also, that's just a pile of sticks. You're a nerd. All right, let's see if this pops middle. It's a decent try. That's definitely scuffed freestyles. I will, I will admit that. Ooh, close. So right here, I'll go for the corner and take the boost as well. So then Ritz Crackers is low boost. This guy doesn't even deserve boost. Go for 50-50. My teammate should be able to cover it. He kind of leaves the ball though, so this could be a good shot for them. But Ritz Crackers just puts it to the corner and wastes the possession, which is fine. Don't mind that. Right here, I see that the one player is in in the left side of the field, trying to uh, cover the left side. So I end up popping at midfield instead. There we go. Follow this up. That should be a goal. So uh, I don't really, I don't really uh, care for people, you know, just saying random stuff. Let's let's see what he says back. He being annoyed. I didn't even... That's not even good grammar. <laughs> what does he mean? I don't understand this guy. Should we pop over one. See what he does. Kind of popped it up pretty high. And even if he goes for a touch here, it's not a big deal. Because it's not on target. It's too hard for him to get it on target either. 
see him just make him touch. I'm just waiting for the touch. Okay, that's fine. My teammate kind of committed. I wasn't expecting that. We'll stay with this, though. This guy's a weirdo, man. See if he pat pops it out. Good touch. Go for it again. Be a shot towards target. See if he saves it. He does. I guess he prides himself in that Season 14 Grand Champion. Let's see what happens. Get, see what happens with my teammate here. Good challenge. To be on. There we go. Nice. <laughs> strange, strange man. Let's uh, let's continue though. My teammate's doing pretty well. He's he's covering the the bases. I don't know. They just this guy just caught me off guard. Most of the time we've been pretty pretty chill. But uh, there's just sometimes you just get these random people who are just like this, who just say weird stuff during the gameplay. And this isn't even that bad, honestly, but I don't know. Let's see if he says anything back. He's kind of quiet now. Maybe because he's getting slapped. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here with this touch. He's going for the, the flip, flipper reset. Teammate can probably challenge. Good demo. I'll go for this since my teammate moved away. And I'm going to back off since my teammate went mid. Oh, close. Teammate should be getting back behind this play. It's kind of awkward because he's in the corner. It's a good play from the uh, Scuffs Freestyles guy. Kind of cleared it for us, though. And there we go. To be a nice little play. Obviously, I'm, I'm playing a little too fast, but I don't really care because this guy's just saying mean things. It's a good try. See if uh, my teammate tries to go. Good fake. That was a good fake challenge because uh, in that situation, he is last, and if they make it clear on the field, there's no way he can really cover it. See if Hungrymo stays with it. Good try on the bump. If he bumped that guy, it was a free touch. Good. I think I'm just waiting for them to make a touch. Not really anything too threatening. There we go. Should will stay with this. I kind of messed it up though. Should be a goal. I wanted to do a kind of like backflip into that and then a flip to follow in the air dribble. Obviously, it's like pretty pretty complicated, but you know, just trying for it. I kind of messed my team up, teammate up. That's definitely on me. But we're up for three goals anyway, so no big deal. But ever since these guys have been kind of smacked, they stopped talking. So interesting. I don't know if it's like a strategy of theirs to like try and uh, rattle their the opponents, but uh, it's not a good strategy. You just look like a dick. <laughs> Which, uh, Danny, if you don't mind uh, censoring that. Let's see if I can pop this backwards like, if I can. Just to lose possession from the opponents. Yeah, man, I have no words. Kind of a kind of a weird uh, interaction in this game. Uh, he immediately leaves. And uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. Definitely probably like a 14-year-old or a 12-year-old. I have no idea. If he's older, he should be ashamed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a, definitely a little bit of a, a shorter episode. But... Um, Still, still fun regardless, even though this was a weird game to finish on. Uh, if you are enjoying the episodes, like I said, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're getting super close to 1 million subscribers, and I have a new training mode that I'm going to be releasing at a 1 million. So I can't wait for it. I'm still finishing it up. Uh, I'm not talking about the rings map, by the way. The rings map is on its way, um, and that will hopefully be coming out soon. But until next time, guys, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.